Welcome, or welcome back. It's a new season on SRS for Assetto Corsa, and tonight we uh, have a special treat. We're going to be taking our first whack at racing the Skoda Octavia Cup car. Uh, this is a mod that's been out for a while, and it's really fun to drive, but it's never shown up on SRS before. Uh, it's a, yet another front-wheel drive touring car, of course, but uh, it's really fun to toss around. Um, I've been looking forward to it for a while, and now it's finally here, and tonight I'm getting my first chance to drive it. So I thought originally I might splice this series together, uh, but really the last two times I've tried to do that, it hasn't happened. So I figured I might as well put out this race. Um, it was an interesting one, a lot of ups and downs, and, well, I won't spoil it for you. Here it is. So here we are in our first race of the Octavia Cup series. It's not the first race, but it's our first race. We uh, qualify P5. Uh, it's a fun car. I've been waiting for this to hit SRS for a while. And uh, and now it's here. So uh, looking forward to it. Um, got Mike Butler, Alex Gill, Martin Warmington, a couple of really uh, familiar names of good drivers in here. Some unfamiliar names as well. There's uh, including some folks who uh, have never done this before. So welcome to SRS, everybody. And uh, we'll okay, see how this actually, goes. Be ready. Watch for the lights. Driver ratings range from 784 to 0 in the split. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how it goes. Go. Nail it. You're in the middle. Clear left. Car left. That was predictable. The extent of it, maybe not. I'm gonna get yeeted here. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> you can pretty much drive this like the uh, Leon. And in fact, you can actually be in an even higher left side. gear. Clear left. Right side. Yellow flag. Watch out. On your left. Clear left. For some of the corners. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Not going to do much for my incident average today. Third is the wrong gear there. Four is good. Still showing off the new shaders patch. It looks pretty. Also the Seasons mod. I had a grassy excursion that showed off grass mod. So I might have to turn that off later in the week. Fun things coming to the channel. Fun California things. Oh, there's the snap over steer. Caught it. Really can't brake while turning in this car. You gotta do all your braking first, then turn in. Feel like I'm gonna catch Nico here, maybe. Not this lap, but perhaps soon. That would be good. Kind of looking for a podium here. I'm familiar with a car, whereas other people might not be. I just ran this track like five times on Saturday in the in the Leon. Flag. 
I wonder if we can take that in force. I don't really want to risk it. If the answer is no, and I lose a bunch of places. Well, he just rage quit. <laughs> and up I go. Okay, Pasha, just keep hitting your marks. This is looking good. P5. Oopsie. The transmission in this thing is a little wonky. I might have to turn on auto blip or... It's clearly a paddle shifted car, but the downshifts are just... What? Oh no! Don't bounce into me, please. Thank you. And that's P3. Bye bye, Nico. Have to pay respects. It's true. Just hit your marks and don't die. And uh, you'll get around brands pretty well. Whoopsie! That's not my mark. Saved it. If you know how to throw it in just right, you can actually use its snap over steer to get around some of the sharper corners. I'm not quite confident enough to do that as a matter of course. But when it works out lucky like that did. <laughs> It's, uh, it's okay. This is great. Come on, keep nailing those exits. P3. Wouldn't it be something if the, uh, learner's badges on this thing last only one race? Oopsie. Oh, not like that. Coming up on Alex. Seeing right front locking into Druids. I think traffic is going to be a factor in this race. It's the single split and uh, the wide disparity in ratings and people who have done this before. <laughs> can see some traffic issues. This is one of the cars that I really want to get into a street tuner league. Something to simulate the old IMSA Street Tuner or Perilla Challenge TC America, you know, the street cars with a roll cage kind of thing. BOP on this is. I think this would actually need ballast in a series like that. Or maybe a restrictor, I'm not sure. Got some grass kicked up here. Really, all you have to do is remember to do all your braking in a straight line in this car. Stops very well, and then you just kind of turn in and drive out. But so much of the weight is towards the front. If you hit the brakes and turn in, you're going to snap around. Force feedback on this thing is pretty fun. You get a really good feel that it is a 
a front wheel drive race car. <laughs> you can feel when the front tires are ripping and when they're not. Whoopsie daisy. It helps when they're on the ground. <laughs> hey, purple sector, yay! The track wears in and the car gets lighter. Flag. I expect these times will continue to drop. Mm, looks like Alex had some issues. This is a really fun car to throw around. The Brands Hatch particularly suits it. Brands Hatch is good for touring cars in general, but this thing does pretty well. There are some real live Octavia Cup races on YouTube. I haven't watched any yet to see whether the, you know, these cars look the part. I don't know if the modders got actual sound or anything. I know the exterior sounds are copied for another car, which is unfortunate. But I mean, when you're a when you're a hobbyist, what are you gonna do for sources of audio of race cars? You don't really have a studio or any kind of hello. These are the leaders. Suddenly there's a three car battle for the lead of the race. That's something. That lap time was 140.8. These guys take each other out, I'll be in the lead. If they don't take me with them. This is good. Shame these things don't have headlights. I'd be flashing. <laughs> Still almost half the race to go. Oh, mind punt on Gil. Move made. Well done, Pasha. Nice move, mate. Of course, we let the leader get away. Purple sectors catching up to these guys. Nice. Nick's going to be coming up on traffic. Nice thing about this car is it doesn't tend to roast its tires. Like, say, the Leon TCR. But they are wearing. It is funny, though. 
most of the breakpoints and gear choices and everything are almost identical to the Leon. Around here, anyway. Oh, oh. Not driving a bicycle. Need to stop driving a bicycle. Ah, the leader's getting away. Where's that traffic? Time was at <laughs> Not the line I would have chosen through Paddock Hill, but it worked. That's a cut. Darn it. Oh no, Pasha. Track limits. Come on. We need to slow down and give back some time. That's five minutes to go. I have to wait for this guy anyway. I'm assuming Alex doesn't punt me, I'll be okay. to let us go by. There's a battle for second going on here. Still there. Clear left. Yellow flag. Caution. Leader has made his escape now. Ooh, this is a good battle with Alex. It's going to be a good end of the race, I hope. Okay, Pasha. Hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. He's quicker than you in two. Sterling's bent. Almost everyone is. Break a teensy bit harder and turn a teensy bit later. That works out. This car can be so smooth around here. <sighs> it's a great battle with Alex. Nick is kind of running away with it. That lap was a 140.2. That's your best lap in this session. There we go. Get a mind punt going. Toss this thing through the corner. <laughs> Didn't work out so well at Sterling's. Or, that wasn't Sterling's, it was um, the other thing. The gap to Gill behind is increasing. It's now 0.7. This car feels so good around here. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go. Turn, baby, turn. Here we go. Wow, 
Wow, he got a huge run on me there. Wow. He figured something out, I don't know. Meanwhile, I'm breaking into the 139s myself. One more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. That's your quickest lap in this session. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. Don't drive through the grass, dude. Surtees, that's the name of that corner. If I have one bugbear on this course, it's that. I don't do Surtees well a lot of the time. Did he go off? P2. Yep. <laughs> F's for Alex. Good battle, mate. Looks like I won't get the win first time out, but I'll get a second. Okay, Pasha. Five Can't be disappointed in that. Looks like Alex will still hold on to a podium. Good stuff, and that is the Octavia Cup. The Brands Hatch. I'm going to finish this out. I don't think this guy still has a lap to do. Oh, <laughs> he's spinning. I almost spun. You know what? I'm done. Whoop. Danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> That was fantastic. That was really fun. And with that, we have a second place. Unfortunately, two incidents. Uh, one right there at the start, and the other uh, on lap one. Uh, it spun the other car out when, well, he was already spinning, but hey-ho. Uh, in any case, started sixth, worked my way up the field, had two retirements in front of me, which helped a lot, but still... I had to make a move on Alex and uh, ended up in P2. So, like I say, I can't be, uh, can't be too disappointed in that. In fact, pretty happy with it. And so in the early days of this championship, I find myself 17th. With a second place and two incidents, puts me at 92. So I'm in the top 20 with some very good company. So that's that for our first ever race with the uh, Skoda Octavia uh, competitively. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching the video did uh, leave a like on your way out please and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more because uh, this is a really fun car and I'm definitely going to be driving it some more see you in the next one